lot of time in Pomona Valley when they lost the old shop with electric wire. A lot of time in Pomona Valley when they lost the old shop with electric wire. Suppose old shop and dry gun. Stamp with a run till it tumble down. Suppose old shop and dry gun. We have two cups of flour in there. All right, what are we making? Fry jacks. Fry jacks. Uh, it's a, it's a mixture to make from fry jack. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the <coughs> the baking powder. I'm gonna use um, uh, go two teaspoon of baking baking powder. Okay. Uh, so one teaspoon for for cup for a cup. Uh, we'll see how it turn out. If it doesn't turn out yeah, good, we just add some more. If you should uh, soften or fluff it a little bit. So you're saying you don't usually, you know, measure these things. You just pour. Yeah, yeah. Well, so. Now you know in the cooking shows they have all their ingredients sitting in front of them, right? That's the way. I'm not technical either. The way we I said my mother used to do it, just throw some flour in there and just throw some baking powder in there and start mixing it. Of course, this is the oil. I'm not going to put any oil in there because it's going to be frying oil, so okay. we don't need any more oil. What kind of oil are you frying in? <coughs> I'm in a coconut oil. Coconut oil. All right. So. Now, is that what you cook with in down there or do you use whatever? Oh, we got whatever we have, don't we use. We use coconut oil, or we use coconut oil, or we use hog lard <laughs> because we some we sometimes kill a pig at the end of the year, and we have a whole five gallon of a lard to cook with, and then we use coconut oil. Okay. That's that's a little small nut that grows. In. Okay, so this is a little pan that I just put, so I don't have to use too much oil. I put a small enough pan. Throw the, the, the oil in here, start heating it to, to fry the fry jacks. So what I'm doing, I'm putting the coconut oil. How much are we putting in? Uh, deep enough uh, to, I would say probably maybe. It's maybe half an inch or so, maybe a little more. Yeah, about a half inch or so in the bottom of it. But um, okay. if you get too low, then I just add a little bit more. Uh, right, kind of like a deep frying uh, method. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when you don't have too much oil, you just kind of let it fry one side and flip it over and fry the other side. So what I do with this one, since I put the baking powder in it, I mix it up. So that this time, uh, this flour is kind of cool with mineral fridge. But I mix it up so the baking powder kind of mixing the flour the best we can. So all I have to do now is um, get, uh, guess, get the water and start. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, do, I, use, I put a towel on this, this thing so it don't slide around. So that's what I'm doing with this. Put a um, kitchen towel on the bottom. So now, now what I'll do is add some water to it and just get it to the right consistency that you could need it. So be careful, don't need to put too much water, get it soft, you're going to have to add more flour. Uh, mixing it up right now. A lot of time in Pomona Valley when a large old shop with electric wire, the poor old shop and dry gun. Stamp with a run till it tumble down, the poor old shop and pull the trigger. Stamp with a made a funny figure. You even got the Belizean broken mixing bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, actually, what I do in Belize, we have a, a pen about that big, or use a, 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 a kneading bowl, bowl that they make. The, the bowl they make it out of a ma mahogany pour. They really make a nice kneading bowl. It's a wood. Why don't we have one of those? Huh? Why don't we have one of those? You gotta get somebody to make one. I said, we'll buy one from Belize, probably. 
I don't know if my, if I, if my heart gonna grow big enough to make <coughs> kneading bowl anymore. That was handmade, it's not no mechanical stuff. What I'm doing now, I'm gonna get a little bit of grease out of this thing to grease my hand. That's the part I always forget. I think it's real messy. I know. It's... <laughs> I just make them small because I have a small container there. As small as I can. As a small little container. So it's like a fistful of dough. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. a fistful of dollars, but it, different. You could make it bigger than that, but as I said, I didn't make too too many of them. And I, I don't want to make them uh, too big because of the pan. Right, because uh, you got to fit in that little pan. In. What I'm doing, just knee, kneading it a little bit after I finish. Uh, make them in the size that I want. Yeah, put that in the scale, they're, they're way out of the same. <laughs> 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 I'm just kind of kneading it a little bit. So those are kind of thick. Are you gonna still you're still gonna flatten them? Oh, no, this. Am one. I jumping ahead? Oh, you're way ahead. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm jumping ahead. Got it. I need I'm to push that. Kind of kneading it a little bit. You want to go in the pan? Yeah. So sometimes you want to make them wrong. Kind of do it like that. And last time you, you let it sit around a little bit, it, it spread easier. They don't refrigerate their flour in Belize, huh? No, well, I, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> when I was growing up, we, we didn't have any refrigeration. Not where I live back in, in Young Gala, but I grew some there and then tea kettle. All of our food was cook and eat and put away until. But that's the way life used to be then. But thankful you have some of the stuff we have nowadays. Yeah. We used to raise our own chicken, and pick up our eggs and eat. And that's how we have our eggs and the chicken. I will milk the cow in the morning and get cow milk. So you guys... None of this pasteurized grocery store stuff, huh? No, uh, and then, and then, then we, we, um, uh, we cook, when we finish making, uh, when we finish with, uh, milking the cow, we uh, put, uh, put the milk in a pan and just put it on the, on the, on the fire and boil down the meat and start me the, the, the milk. Mm. So you did your own pasteurizing is what you're saying? I guess that's what it was. I guess. Pretty much. You didn't need a big company to do it for you, you did it yourself. We used to like to skim the, that, that skim that came come on top is a, like a uh, kind of stretchy way to take off. What I'm going to do, I'm waiting now for the, um, for the grease to start getting hot. There's steam rising, that's a good sign. Well, it's, hot. it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now. A little bit of oil on your fingers, a little bit on the plate. Yeah. So, then I, I start these by the inside of my hand. Yeah. Some people use their finger, but I, I rather use the heat of my, you know, my hand, as I way call it. Mm -hmm. And as I say, I made them small so they will fit in that pan. Because if you don't, you know, when you want to make big fry jack, you get a big pan. And, 
They make them as big as the pan, huh? I'm sure I'm gonna have people correcting me how to do it. Do it, but I'm not worried about it. It, it got the same ingredients. I don't put any salt in it because I'm gonna eat with salt. Well, and I would think it's uh, a, it's like a lot of recipes that everybody does it their own way. Well, uh, if, if you're on a, a salt-free diet like I am, so so I'll, when I, when, once I once I get it spread out. And then I just add a few little holes. That's what I do. I don't know how somebody else does it. All right, so I'm going to set it right in there. Well, watch yourself, don't get burned. And they go frying now. The first one go frying. So while that one is frying, I'm going to another one. Can you flip it? Well, you're, yeah, you're gonna flip them. I was just asking. Oh. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna burn my hand though. Yeah, don't do that. It's yeah. kind of slipped them on when I was turning. She was tall. But you want to take it out before you get too brown. And now it's uh, I'm taking it out just with a smooth. Some golden brown. I let it drip the oil up. I put it in there. That's that's one of them there. That's that's one little slice on it, and then I point a little hole so that the, the grease come come through when you're frying. Kinda. That's my my design. Your own trademark design, huh? The oldest one is getting slow, I know getting brown. Mm -hmm. That's because if you, uh, the more you put it, put it in, they, they cool the grease down. And Gyps is waiting down below there in case I drop one. Hey, Gyps. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching Dad doing fry jazz. All right, while you're waiting, you can look up and smile. Hi. <laughs> okay, I just figured I'd take some still shots while I was at it. This will all be edited, so probably none of my talk will be in here. So this is a little light up, light up golden brown. That's your artist signature, huh? Yeah. So now when you make these for us, we tend to eat them with, with beans and cheese. Is that what you always ate them with? You could eat them with, with cheese, you could eat them with, with uh, fried beans. Okay. Or you could eat them with, with stew beans, you know what I mean? You eat it with anything, really. You know? Depending on what you want to eat it with. But with the... usually with beans and eggs. There's a fried beans and, and an egg. A piece of cheese. You ever put cinnamon sugar on them? Well, you can if you want to, but that's about change the flavor. Well, then it's like if a you, dessert. Right, if you want to make it like a dessert, I guess you can. Maybe you have, yeah, maybe we better off sweeten the, the, the dough. Uh, have you ever made them that way? No. So you're very traditional. It's yeah. bean, beans, cheese, maybe some eggs. Yeah, some eggs, yeah. <laughs> okay. They have a, probably have a different way of doing it now. So I'm talking about um, uh, you know, probably was anyway, but being from seven, uh, from time when I was knee high, ten years old from there on. My grandmother used to get up real early and. Make them. We used to buy the flour by the hundred pound. Well, as you said, it was ninety-six pound of flour when we buy. Ninety-six pounds. Wait, not a hundred. 
I don't know. I think that's said that's why it was said ninety six point. I don't know why. You no, know, you know, unless the the change that thing, but back then it was ninety six point. Hmm. I buy the flour. And then when we finished with the flour, we made shirt out of the flour bag. Yeah. We washed the, the, the letters out. How'd you get all the letters out? Uh, <clears throat> parents don't know what to do. Just wash it, I guess. Just keep washing it. Someday I guess they boil them and get it. So we didn't waste anything from the flour bag we used to eat them. Yeah, nice. Uh, this is light gold and brown. Yeah. You could brown them more than that if you like them brown. But then they get a little bit crispier, I guess. It goes another Dunkin' Donut. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Dunk another one in there. Oh. So you said your grandma got up early and made them? Oh, they never get up early, man. What's early? Well, when we used to, it was like, God, just down, I guess. Cow guy got to get to work, get go to the to the milpa. What's the milpa? Plant, plantation. Mm. Depending on what we're doing, sometimes we got to go and, and weed the corn field so that the, the buoy don't take over the corn with our machete and clean the banana field. And the cocoa field, and the potato field, we got our stuff. And the cane field, we got to keep that up too. Because we used to have a, a mill that we used to grind, grind the sugar cane and make syrup. We'll tie the, tie the uh, horse to it and let it walk around. Yeah, they got to walk around and we'll make a couple discs in between the home. And you just squash the, the cane, and then with, after they crush it, we just take it and wring it and get all the juice out of it. But we had the old type one, and we used to just smash it. Smash it, and then the, then when it smashed real good, we just take, bend it and pinch it in with the, with the pincher, and then um, <coughs> take a a piece of wood and put it between it and just turn it and twist it and wring all the, the juice out of it. And then cook it down to get your molasses and or your sugar. And then we get it put in a big pot and just cook it down and put it along with that syrup. Can syrup. Yeah. 